Well, hey, folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Just taking a picture of one of my piggies here. Smile. Good boy. There we go. <laughs> I'll take a picture of him with my footprint on his back. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to get a few shots. So do hope everybody is doing well today. Thanks so much for joining me here. Um, yeah, we are back. I'm still doing some grass, but I'm not going to make you guys suffer through, well, all of it. <laughs> as it were. But yeah, I mowed our uh, actual grass pasture. It's kind of uh, unfortunate, but... If you go to the uh, growth stage, it doesn't show what stage of growth it's in. It is marked as some sort of a field, but yeah. So I wasn't sure if maybe I should have waited a little longer, but hey. Well, exactly that. Hey, I need the hay. So, you know, I thought, well, okay, we're going to give her another chop. That way, maybe before winter comes. And uh, I've got some of it tethered kind of what I'm looking for. I don't really know where I've left it. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, we're going to have to do this. Then. Actually, what am I doing? Let's do... Uh, yeah, I th think we're in this guy. Where are you? No, you're in the farm. How about you? You're in the farm, too. Oh, you're not in the farm. You're exactly who I'm looking for. Yes, you are. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'd, uh, one of the probably most amusing junk mails this morning that I've had in a while. Now we all get these, you know, uh, promise you a million dollars, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, or billions, or it's being transferred, you know, some president, some prince, some, some rich relative you've never heard of or are in fact related to has left you a ton of money. But this one was kind of, uh, kind of different because, well, the title was, My Dear, I Thought You Were Dead. I kid you not, that, that was the title. <laughs> My Dear, I Thought You Were Dead. <laughs> so, I, I, Generally, I, I don't even, you know, look at anything in that folder, basically. It goes straight to El Junco de Melo. And, uh, well, but, but I, I gotta admit, I, I was a little intrigued. So, I opened it. I, I mean, I made sure that, you know, good old Norton's was standing by to stomp fiercely upon anything, and I certainly wasn't going to click the little link that came with it, but we all know sometimes even opening those is enough to activate embedded links. Um, in this case, it wasn't. But the inside text went on to tell me that this dear woman had assumed perhaps my demise because even though she had emailed me several times, I had not responded. And due to circumstances and rumors, etc., she actually feared that I was dead. And, you know, um, it, and then of course it went into the whole thing about how there was, you know, many, many, many dollars set aside for me. And all I had to do was, well, you know, provide a little bit of good faith, in other words, send me some money. So, I responded to the letter. No, first time I've ever done this, but I thought, you know, <laughs> I'm so tired of getting letters from oil princes from Dubai, and you just name it, and, you know, a, a poor place like Nairobi offering me billions, and I thought, this is actually a pretty neat scam. So I wrote back. And it was my dear Amelia. I thank you for your concern. But the tales of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Although I fear I may not be long for this world. I am currently imprisoned in Tibet. For trying to smuggle uh, a large quantity of... 
a forbidden substance across the border. And it's only through the uh, due diligence of my relatives and friends that I have even been informed of your amazing, amazing letter. So, but I do fear that the little amnesty I have found here is soon to wear off. I know there has been talk of perhaps my execution as soon as the end of this month. I now have some hope that you can save me. And sent the letter off. But, uh, so I'm sure the three guys in China or wherever the heck they are <laughs> that are actually doing this, um, well, I hope it does provide a little bit of amusement for them in some way, shape, or form. But, yeah, I, I thought that was uh, rather a different one. Is that, my dear, I thought you were dead. Well, you guarantee... If any of you send me a letter that starts, my dear, I thought you were dead, <laughs> I, I will send you a, an answer. <laughs> It'd be just too good not to. All right, I think I've pretty much... Oh, probably not, but... Uh, okay, that looks good. See, it's about now you want to use your console command to fly and just zip all over the map and see what is and isn't because, oh boy, let me tell you, I have been cutting grass like a mad monkey. So, and I know most of you weren't aware that monkeys cut grass, but it is actually one of their favorite pastimes. They're just so seldom given the opportunity. So, but yeah, the rest of the, uh, the rest of the toxicity in my uh, junk mail folder, of course, went to the appropriate place, which is to say the trash so yes but I rather enjoyed that I thought well good on you and speaking unfortunately of things which are toxic um the co co modder I guess on this map um Christ's sent me a link this morning the map has been updated to version 3 which what I understand from his uh, earlier postings was going to be the English translation, although it does still say version 3 Russian. Um, and you can upgrade with... Oh, boy, it doesn't... It's almost like something hangs up on the back of this. Watch. Oh, I see. It's just that bed bouncing up and down. Okay. It's a little odd, but... All right. Um, yeah, he told me the version 3 was available and gave me the link. Unfortunately, both uh, Chrome and Norton's found the link to be far too toxic to even use. So, no, I, I couldn't access the site. At, oops, at one one attempt. I mean, it's sometimes you if you click the uh, the link often enough, because of the way they load their little malware pages, you may well actually get away with it. You know what I mean? Like, you might find that little open passage that lets you in. Yeah, I, I've been on enough of these sites to know. <laughs> but, um, didn't work. It, but I briefly got to see the page. <laughs> and that was the closest I got, I'm afraid. So we are still running version 2, and will likely do so until I decide to no longer run this map. I really do wish that there were one of these just a hair bigger. Because unfortunately, the width of the uh, Big Coon 500 mower when you cut two swaths is just uh, a little too big. So. There we go. So hopefully there's, uh, that's not the only site that he's uploaded to. I wouldn't mind upgrading this if there is an upgrade. I'm not sure what has changed. Didn't really indicate that. But, uh, you know. 
One can only expect things improve, otherwise, well, why bother with another version? Okay. So I have not tethered all of the grass I cut. Uh, some of it by accident, because I just, you know, there's not nearly as much logic to where and when you're going to cut grass when you're just sort of flanking fields, some of which don't actually even belong to you. <laughs> so yeah, I can gather all of this up. <coughs> So yeah, I'm trying to remember what routes I took. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Doesn't always work out. Does not always work out. Okay. It is nice to see some crops actually popping up. Oh, and at this time, I just gotta say as well, guys, Thank you so, so much for all of your incredibly valuable feedback. Um, in all honesty, I think this is probably the most chatter I've actually had about the actual functioning of my channel. And as I said in the last video, I appreciate that because, you know, analytics are, well, they're just that. They're an analytical, you know, non-human, non, well, you know. They can never count in things like, you know, actual entertainment value. They never account for things like, you know, changing tastes, changing venues, the fact that people are busier, you know, just a lot of other things that, well, you guys were more than willing to share, and it is much appreciated. It has helped me uh, think in a little bit of a new light on... Uh, not only my own Let's Plays here, but as well the uh, the Farm Sim in particular, the Seasons mod, all of that. And apparently I was wrong. Um, I stated yesterday that I didn't think Daggerwind was uh, actually using Seasons mod. But apparently on his West Coast map he is. Um, I've got to admit I haven't really been watching that. I loaded the West Coast map, had a look at it and decided I wasn't really that interested. It looked like just a bunch of one of those maps where there's a whole bunch extra driving around for not particularly any reason. Um, and I have an aversion to maps that have only a single like bridge to get you across a body of water that divides the map. I think it goes back to two rivers. Um, yeah. I don't know, it may not have even been a farm sim map where it goes back to, but I just remember going across a bridge and every time you came to it, it caused trouble. <laughs> I just, it gave me such an aversion to doing it that I just basically avoid maps now that uh, have that type of a division. Oof, wow, there's a dip for you. Good thing I just downloaded the latest NVIDIA driver today. See, it's doing a great job. Ay, ay, ay. What's up? I don't know, those of you guys that run NVIDIA, um, if you look where you've got your games and they offer to optimize, now, my native resolution on the video card I'm using, if we, you know, if you want to put it that way, I realize that actually applies to monitors and not video cards, but, um, basically 1080 is what we're looking at. You know, this is not a super resolution system, you know? Not by any means. Okay, I think that's close enough. But, I've noticed for this game, amongst others, uh, Diablo 3, for instance, they want to, if I allow NVIDIA to apply their optimizations. Now, they do a bunch of things. They're bouncing the anti-aliasing up higher than what I run it at. Uh, LOD distance, things like that. They're, you know, they want to crank it up, which, quite frankly, I mean, I'm doing mm, 45 to 50 frame now. So I'm not even maintaining 60 frames on this thing, although, granted, it's using about 1,200 meg of RAM to run. Um, 
But they want for some reason, and I really don't understand why, but they want to actually run it at a resolution of like 2150 by something, and then scale it down. You know, now I understand the principle behind it. It should give you better looking textures, but I can't help but think that running something at native resolution has got to be less demanding on your system than running it at, well, basically a resolution your system doesn't support. Neither my video card nor my monitor support those resolutions. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my video card actually does, obviously, or NVIDIA wouldn't think so. But, yeah, I really don't, I, I tried it once and it was really weird. And it was the first thing that made me realize you should go and look at that because there's something kind of wonkaroo about what's going on here, buddy. Like, seriously disturbing things. And yeah, that's when I first realized that that's what they were doing. You know, they're sort of over-rendering your video and then downscaling it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I found that rather unusual. I also find it rather unusual that the last three or four updates have been 100 megs even larger than every single update that came before it. They were originally all 345 megs. You know, maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2, but they were always 345 megs for, I swear, better than a year. And seeing as they put out a new one like every two weeks, that's a lot. Um, the last two, possibly three, have all been 450. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's, it's all getting to be just way, way too much. There we are. Now, I must find my way to... Actually, I think I want to go the short route. Let's get ourselves turned around. As for your guys' comments, you know, there, I won't say there's a general consensus, but if you read everything that was there, it does seem that, although everyone does appreciate, um, what the Seasons mod does, it's, yeah, definitely, uh, questionable as to how good it is for actual entertainment value. Now, those look to be already done. This obviously isn't. Okay. So, ah. This is exactly where I wanted to be, which is right at the entry out. There we go. And what it in fact suggests to me is that there are a number of you who would uh, certainly follow a non-Seasons Let's Play more avidly than one that is running Seasons. Just because, well, as it was pointed out by a few of you, and I agree wholeheartedly, um, what Seasons does as far as... Okay, I gotta know where that is in relation to that fence, or we're gonna get really screwed here. Um, is it limits a lot of choices? You know what I mean? The folks at Giants, and, you know, they're pretty good at this. You know, this is not their first rodeo. They've been leading the way pretty much since 2008 
Now, that's a while to practice your art, especially when your art is basically repeating the same thing over and over and just getting better at it. Um, <coughs> yeah, there's our actual grass field. Eh? Looks pretty good. Now, it was not three levels of fertilization on it when I cut it. There was only two. So, I perhaps could have ran the weeder over it, but... I did not. I mean, I don't know. I can't really see... Unless it's a golf course, I can't see weeding a grass field. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the Seasons mod, it... It really does introduce... Oops, I'm going to end up grabbing a bit of grass in the mix there. Whoopsie doopsie. Um, I might be able to... Yeah. Let's see how much of this I can grab into one row. And it's not just because, you know, you have issues with things like, yeah... I really need to decide here. Um, I'm going to grab this side, I think. There we go. Oh, go back down. There we are. <laughs> All of a sudden, the row starts like 90 degrees over. Whoopsie. Well, I'm going to get part of that anyway. I think the fattest stuff. Yeah, not just because it does limit, you know, things like bales are going to rot, etc., etc. So you can't just, you know, clump up a bunch of grass bales early and it's all of these sort of things. But, you know, I can't just simply plant a crop, rush through the night, and two days later do harvesting. You know, we're... 20-something episodes into this series now? Yeah, this is just not going to work. So, I mean, it's unfortunately just not big enough. Not quite. Really close, but not quite. <coughs> but I am going to try and bring this over as much as I can. There we go. Get out of the trees. Yeah, we're over 20 episodes in, and I haven't been able to do a single harvest. You know, because obviously you can't harvest in early summer. Your crops aren't ready till the autumn. So, it certainly, uh, certainly does limit how you do things. And it's one of the reasons that, although I've always wanted, I've always, you know, when given the opportunity, added production facilities and such to maps to just you know, give them a little more to do than run up and down a field. Oh yeah, I found uh, five bales <laughs> laying around in places that I'd just forgotten about. Like, there's two there, they were on this strip. Obviously I bailed it up and then never ran the, uh, the Arcason over here to pick up the actual bales. <laughs> Oh yeah, I wasn't kidding guys, I cut a lot of grass. <laughs> a lot of grass. Well, as I said, when I move over to, uh, well, move over, when I start uh, doing videos for the VidMe platform, I'm going to, uh, I will be starting with uh, Nonis Mersolons amazing mining and construction map um, you know, ever since I did the tutorials way back for the FS15 version I really really liked what he's done you know it was a big departure mm -hmm. I thought forestry was a bit of a departure when we first got into it although admittedly the uh, the forestry does fit the whole you know, thing with the farming much better, especially if you're on something like the uh, hard working map or uh, the mountain valley map, which unfortunately is no longer available, and for that reason is probably going to get dropped from my channel. I'm not, uh, 
I'm not a happy camper when I know that nobody that follows my channel can actually play the same maps. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, I am not the privileged view. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, I am not. Uh, see, some of these will actually, yeah. As long as they're not split into these big double rows like this. And that's something the tether does. And unless you can line up really exact, you just sort of have to put up with it. Because if you get it right between two of the little rakes, it'll do that. It'll actually rip the row in half. <coughs> that's okay. Gives you a reason to get out here and play with this thing. It's really only that part of it that I need to do it to. You know, that row beside us and the one beside that, they'll pick up perfectly fine with either the baler or if I wanted to, the uh, uh, forage wagon. And you'll see this leaves the little splots at the side just like the, uh, the mower did anyway, so. Which is unfortunate. Seems to me that they used to make much neater swaths. You know, your windrow. And it seems that the tether used to... It's another thing that seems to have changed somewhere along the line is the way that the tether no longer actually spreads rows out. I find that kind of odd. I'm pretty sure that at one point it would actually... Uh, well, there was no point using a windrower if you were going to tether because it was just going to blow the thing out. The actual width of the tether is how big a spread it would give it. It doesn't seem to do that anymore. It seems to only be affected by the, uh, the actual pickups that run directly over it as opposed to being thrown to the next one down the line, which is, you know, until it gets to the end, which is how I think they used to work. And how I would imagine in real life they probably would work. You know, I mean, how gra how dry is your grass going to get still sitting in a single big blocky pile like these things are? Okay, that should actually do it. And there's just a little bit of this row we need to straighten out. I was just going to simply jump to the next job, like do a little bit of this, but. As it turns out, whoa, as we're not going to need to do all that much of it, really. Like I said, I'm just going to try and get these double rows done. I'll go right back to the tree with this one. There we go. And get lined up on the row if I can. It just ends it a lot neater if you do that. There we go. Alrighty, let's head down the hill. Yeah, you may notice I've also turned the HUD off. Don't see too much point in it. Bring this one in nice and close to the field, why not? This one I knew was going to be a little more of a mess, of course, because I had to wiggle back and forth past the trees. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Stop the bus. Yeah, that's not going to do, I'm afraid. That's going to bugger up our baler, but good. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. That's a little better. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's certainly better than that wang, 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 wang thing we had going on there a moment ago. All right, let's see if I can't neat this part up a little bit too. 
There we go. I'll grab that inner piece. Blah, blah. Leave that one as a row. We'll do the same down here, and then we won't have to bother with that other row at all. Yeah, as you can see, I've uh, <laughs> certainly got around with my mower. But... I don't imagine for a minute that the one little tiny meadow we have is going to be nearly enough. So, let's grab you as well. And then, there we go, sneak back over to our side. Hmm, well, it looks like I've got a bunch more here. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll, uh jump back when I'm ready for the next stage. We'll see you. And we're back with the windrowing done. Well, for the most part, those things I either could find or actually thought needed windrowing. Now I'm going to get this bailed up. And how's the... Uh, uh, not bad, actually. We're not expecting rain until another six days. Well, I can live with that. I can, I can. Awesome. Because I know those bales that sat up in that field, they did take a hit. They're currently reading, uh, 3,500 something liters. So... I wonder, does this... Oh, it does, okay. It actually has a wide enough scoopy on it that when you make the corners you don't have to go, you know, really extra wide like you do with some porridge wagons so that you can actually drag the brush back in on an angle and catch the corner. Yeah, you seem to be able to pretty much cruise right up the row. Nice. Alrighty. was uh, messing around with the uh, cattle and crops uh, demo beta whatever the heck it is thing and uh, boy let me tell you when you start getting into the re real details on what's going on with that it's uh, well I gotta say pretty slick piece of work I said I wasn't that terribly impressed by anything I saw on the new uh, pure farming from the guys that were doing it in fact, to the point where I didn't actually pick up the pre-order yet. I was all keen on it and was about to. And then, luckily enough, uh, I watched my buddy Ian, a uh, fellow Canadian YouTuber, and he uh, he did it. And, you know, I, I've watched enough of the videos that I could tell, and no offense, buddy, you're, you're really good at what you do. Um... I could tell he was trying to like it a little more than he did, you know. And I mean, I don't, I don't blame him. We're all looking for, you know, that next thing. And hopefully the next thing that will, you know, force good old giants, who as I said, have been kind of standing on this pedestal since 2008, going, ha ha, we're the best, just try and catch us. Um, hmm. Didn't leave myself a lot at the end of these rows now, did I? Uh, there we go. Hopefully it picked most of that up. These, these are pretty good rows, though. Look how often we're popping a bale here. Much nicer. But yeah, I watched him do it, and as I said, you could tell he was trying to like it a little more than he possibly was. But... I'm really, really... Now, as buggy as it was, and the fact that when I tried, I couldn't actually see the chaff, etc., coming out, the fell planes, those sort of things. Um, although I have tried it again, and it actually seemed to be all right. I don't know why. Um, Whoa! <laughs> I was about to do a U-turn. I would have been just whap. Oh, well, I haven't been hit by a train for probably a week now. Okay, let's go back and get the rest of this. 
you know, um, just the the IC console that's built into it, and the amount of things it actually does, you know, like you can sit in your cab, you can look at the mirrors, and if you use the IC panel on those, you can tilt them up and down, you can tilt them side to side, you know, not, it's, I know there was a mod that allowed you to do that with the farm sim, but it was a little odd, and the mirrors looked like they were kind of well, exactly what they were. They were floating on the surface of the actual, you know, mirror holder as opposed to being an integral part of it. Um, yeah, in cattle and crops, you can't tell. Unless you actually discover that will work, you would have no idea it would even be possible. And let's get his turned. All right, where next? Getting some pretty. Oh, we got a row right across the road. Just gotta find a beginning or an end. Ah, okay. I know what's going on there. And the beginning is gonna be right here. Because we're gonna find ourselves coming back to that point later. And we'll be coming back right to here. There we go. Um, the, you know, things like, and again, it's not 100% working right now. Occasionally there's still some, uh, well, minor little bugsies, but the follow me mod is built into the game, you know, and to a point where you can actually have more than, like, let's say you're cutting chaff, right? Now... Unlike modded uh, forage uh, harvesters, you can't tow a trailer behind your forage harvester, right? So you've got to have a tractor and a trailer. Now, normally you'd use the follow me mode or you would get a hired worker to drive the uh, forage wagon and you would follow in the, the tractor. You can actually get more than one tractor to come and service your forage harvester I mean, providing you have tractors with appropriate trailers, um, and you can actually call them to you. Well, obviously, I've missed some uh, oopsie. Yeah, I definitely uh, had a miss. I'm going to have to come back to those. Hmm. Although, I think I can get this one. So yeah, you can not only have the one that you've got lined up and ready to go, but when he's full, and you can send him automatically off to uh, empty himself out, and he'll go to the right pit, and he'll empty it. You don't have to set up a course. You don't have to, uh, you know, spend half your playtime setting up all your course plays and then sit around going, well, now I've got nothing to do. No, he will, in fact, while you're harvesting away, dumping into the second trailer that you called from some random location. Um, again, I think provided you actually... Oh, wow, did I ever miss a lot of uh, windrowing? I'm going to have to get back on that. Um, yeah, he'll go and empty it all out. He'll do all of those things. Yeah, this is... Wow. I did a really... This whole area's got to be done. Okay. I'm going to head down to the end here and see if I did up the sides. And I think this is probably going to be a pretty good place to end the video as well. Yeah, I didn't do... Wow. I think I just plain forgot to come down here completely. Although, yeah, that's what I thought. I did combine a couple of rows. You can see the little bits that I left. Oh, I should probably suck those up rather than just go buy them. Just because... There we go. Add to the fray. Nice. Zink, 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 zink. Good. Alright. Now. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. I would eventually come back out where we just were. This will lead there. However... 
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't counted on the fact that everything that would turn me around to get me back to that point, I hadn't done. Yeah, that's what I mean. It gets pretty confusing out there. At least for me. And yeah, as you guys know, that doesn't take a lot. But, obviously, I've got more than just bailing to do, so I'm going to get on with that. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. I certainly enjoyed making it. And again, thank you so much, guys, for all the feedback. Um, you know, it can become a little frustrating as a YouTuber if your channel starts to just go down and down and down and down and down. But, uh, well, my... I know a lot more today than I did a couple of days ago. And, uh, well, that means it was worth being here. So, you find people, take care of yourselves and uh, each other. And we'll see you here the next time. Ciao for now.